Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good, good. We're uh, we're starting to wake up here. <laughs> oh, great, great. <clears throat> Thanks for having us on. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, give us a little bit of background uh, for people who don't know about the Challenger League. Uh, we, we spend some time every now and then talking about South Jersey Dr- Field of Dreams in Evseekin. Um, how similar is the Challenger League to that, and, and how different? Well, I, I'll tell you, there's a lot of similarities. Um, you know, the Upper Township Challenger Sports Program, we started back in uh, seven years ago, actually. We just had our seventh year anniversary. And we, we started it a lot because my child, my son, is uh, autistic. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to keep him active. We wanted to keep him socializing and being part of the community. And we tried some, actually, some local rec programs, uh, some soccer programs, a basketball program, and uh, they were fantastic, actually. They were really, really uh, good for him. He enjoyed being part of the team. But he was only five, six, seven years old at the right. time. And he think that the coaches were fantastic, the players were fantastic, the, the, the uh, other parents were fantastic. But eventually, he couldn't really keep up with the activities. So we actually started looking for other act, um, programs for him because he loved being part of something. He loved socializing. And actually, a friend turned us on to South Jersey Field of Dreams. So we played there for, for a season, and it was phenomenal. We thought how fantastic this is. They do an amazing job over there. And um, so from there, we started a program here in Upper Township. And the idea was to, again, socialize, develop the kids, teach them the sports, and really just continue to grow and offer more programs. So back in 2009, it was, we started our adapted soccer program where we uh, adapt the rules, adapt the game for the kids to to flourish, for them to succeed. And uh, we use the buddy system where we have a lot of uh, high school volunteers who are absolutely fantastic. They, they come over and they uh, team up with the kids one-on-one. And uh, we take the kids, starting the kids off with uh, drills and skills, really. So we'll start off with a little bit of practice on how to, in, in soccer's case, how to kick the ball, how to score a goal, how to pass the ball. And we'll do practices and drills with them and, and then we'll go into an adapted game, and uh, we'll use different types of equipment, different types of size soccer balls, um, soccer balls that make sounds for some of the kids that have uh, visual problems. Nice. We'll have soccer balls that are 40, 45, 50-inch soccer balls for some of the other kids in wheelchairs. And uh, we actually kick that into the games quite a few, just to play a bit, just to have a, a, a fun time. So it's a lot of fun. The kids have a great time. And it was really successful in its first year. Actually, we started with only 20 kids in our first season. And since then, we've added so many more programs. And we're up to about 85 athletes and about 100 volunteers. And I think everybody's just having a really good time with it. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, the high school kids coming out. And I know um, <clears throat> a girl I know, uh, Jackie Adams, she, she – uh, kind of started volunteering with you guys and that's become really a big part of her life how cool is it when you see uh some of these younger athletes interact with these kids and it really becomes a passion of theirs that is such an exciting feature of what happened uh there really becomes a great connection between the athlete and the volunteers they we call them buddies and i, I tell you that that only kind of is like the tip of the iceberg. They really become friends. They socialize together. They talk. We see them have high fives. They'll, they'll start having conversations together. They, they become a part of their life. And um, it, that's incredibly rewarding. And in Jackie's case, I can't tell you the, the, the excitement that she brings to the program every single week. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we mean, we love her to death. She, uh, she was one of our first volunteers and through high school. And then she turned into a coach right as soon as she graduated and went over to Stockton and she stayed with the program. And she just brings just an incredible light to the program. Everybody loves her. But that's, you know, everybody loves everybody in the program. It's just one of those things where we have a great time together. We're talking with uh, Daryl Detroit, uh, 
of the uh, Upper Township Challenger League. Great, great program down there. I guess you guys do baseball and uh, soccer and some other yeah. stuff. Um, yeah, we're actually just starting our uh, baseball season right now. Actually, tomorrow is supposed to be our opening day. Uh, Mother Nature's not cooperating right now. <laughs> yeah, so, hopefully it'll dry we'll out a little to, bit and you get some games in. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll get that game in. We're, we're definitely planning on it and try to get every game in. But, you know, we started baseball was our second sport that we started to offer. And we do a similar thing where we teach the kids some some aspects of the game, how to hold the bat, how to swing the bat, hit the ball, how to catch the ball. We have specialized equipment for them, um, special bats. Some are soft. Some are a little bit bigger or smaller. Some are heavier. Some are lighter. Um, we have different types of baseballs. Again, uh, some that are like foam and soft, uh, bright and colored, so it's easier to see. Um, we have special equipment, so they get some practice in. So baseballs turn out to be a to be a really fun sport. We added bowling, so we take the kids to actually mouse trap lanes over here, and uh, we have a really nice bowling program with them. They have a ton of fun. It's more of a family oriented type of game, but we, we get a lot of a lot of learning how to how to bowl. We started a dance program last year, which has been incredibly successful. We teamed up with Starstruck Dance Academy, and uh, that's a lot of fun last year they participated um and the company's recital big recital that they had over at actually ocean city high school huge audience the kids absolutely brought the house down <laughs> i mean it was a fantastic program so danielle over at starstruck dance academy does a wonderful job with kids interacting with them probably been a great thing that we've teamed up with we've We've had such success. We actually are now a uh, local training program for the Special Olympics. Awesome. Where we've we've been involved with their track and field programs. So we're actually in the season for that as well. So we have kids running everything from 25 meters to 800 meters. We do sprints. They do uh, tennis ball throws and softball throws. We're doing a running long jump. And... uh, that's a wonderful program. We uh, participate in the meet that's going to be up at Stockton University uh, um, at, at the end of April. A lot of fun. Kids at Stockton University come out and volunteer, put together a great program. We're going to soon go up to the Summer Games for Special Olympics, which is at the College of New Jersey. Huge event. Huge event. They, uh, I mean, everything's fantastic. They do a wonderful job uh, for these athletes where we spend three days up there, and uh, they put on a great show. I, I think uh, so one, of the, one really of the coolest exciting. things, uh, <clears throat> Daryl, one of the coolest things I've seen uh, from some of these types of leagues is when you get these high school kids out there from the athletic teams, and they're so used to being great athletes and, and kind of doing whatever they want to on, on fields and basketball courts and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and when you get them out there, they, they're a little nervous at first. You know, they're, they're 15, 16 years old. They're not used to interacting with – kids with special needs but then you know you see them an hour later and they're you know they, they've kind of bonded with with their buddy uh you know one of the special needs kids and it, it's really that's kind of the neatest thing for me to see is is the way these kids uh the high school athletes really interact it, it gives them a great perspective on on what it's like to not have the advantages that they've had growing up oh you said it perfectly right uh, uh that interaction that happens right there how everybody grows and everybody learns and and they become a team together. It, it's an exciting, an exciting part of the program. Something I think that all of us want. Something I think that all of the parents want. I know that's great for myself. It's with my son. Seeing them interact with with the other kids, um, I, it's it's great. I mean, we actually still talk to everyone. A lot of them, a lot of the, the high school volunteers on social networks, and and uh, we'll see them out in the streets and. It's great when somebody says, "Hey, Cameron," and and or everybody. It's just it's just wonderful. I mean, it, it's a real refreshing thing to see. <clears throat> what what's the uh, what's the coolest part about it for you? I mean, obviously, you probably never thought it was going to grow to be something this big, where there's you know eighty five, ninety kids involved, and and uh, kind of took out a life of life of its own, right? Oh, I dream big. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's definitely continues to grow more than I think anybody really thought it would, but it's, it's, it's the exciting part of it. It also shows how much need is out there for programs like this, and you see them coming on board. 
more and more, so it's more exciting every time you see something getting added out there. Um, but you, how can I say we just love everything about it? Daryl, uh, we're up against a break, but before we let you go, uh, if there are some parents out there who, who may have some special needs kids who want to get involved in the program, uh, or if there are some high school coaches listening who want to get their high school kids over there to interact with some of your kids, uh, how do people get in touch with you and the league, and, and how do they sign up and all that stuff? What's what's the best way to go about uh, getting some more information on the Upper Township Challenger League? Well, there, there's several ways. Uh, one, they can always take a look at our Facebook page, which is www.utchallengersports.com. Uh, they can email us at uh, utchallengersports at gmail.com. They can call me at 609-425-425. Three nine one nine. Happy to answer any questions that they have. Um, so anyway, Facebook, they can uh, give us a quick message through Facebook as well. Good stuff, Daryl. Appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you out there soon. So uh, enjoy the spring season, and thanks for taking a few minutes to uh, give us some more information on the Challenger League. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a good weekend. You too. Bye. All right, that was Daryl Detroit of the Upper Township Challenger League.